why do you think people are saying Rock is dead? I I, I think that the, the whole that started when people started realizing that rock is fallen from the forefront and it's like uh, for a time you know, like rock rock and roll is everything that anybody ever listened to you know the beatles and like the, the defining bands you know the beatles were the 60s elvis was the 50s and uh i think people started just getting caught up in what what is pop and um then i think rock got more or less buried and kind of watered down and misinterpreted i think by the 80s Rock was kind of like um, I don't think it really stood for for what it, what it was anymore. I think uh, I think they probably could have done it without the drugs. And I think uh, in, incorporating so many drugs into a culture was ultimately will destroy it no matter what. Yeah. So I think that could have been uh, you know there's I think there's a lot of factors that went into that, but uh, there's a lot that has to do with it. The world. I mean, it's been. Where would you where, where would you roughly place the origins of rock and roll? Like I would forties, thirties. Yeah, I would. I would. You know, yeah, goes back that far. That's a long time. There's a lot. That's this world has changed quite a bit since then. So I think you know it has a lot to do with that, and it has a lot to do with the literal people that are you know being put into this world. And music is is so so saturated now, and that's the other problem. It's becoming easier to make music. And I, it's not really, it's not a problem because you know what? Yeah, the more, more people should be making music. But that, with that comes the idea that music is now everywhere, you know, and there's so much of it. So it's, there's a lot of music out there and, you know, I, I'll be honest, you can't, you can't listen to it all. I think, I think rock and roll music is a little bit more difficult to make. I wouldn't call it dead, I would call it different. 